Sorry Apple, sorry Final Cut Pro, but I'm switching to DaVinci Resolve 18. Yes, it's true, it's happening now. Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and on this channel every week we talk about filmmaking and I'm trying to share with you my experiences on how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient when making videos for YouTube. Yes, talking about this efficiency and how to be more productive, more creative, I've realized that it's time to switch to a new NLE a new editing software which is DaVinci Resolve 18 and I'm absolutely in love with this software and I'm just sharing with you my excitement of this software which has been around for a long long time but only now they've bundled it together with like crazy crazy uh, tools uh, for for independent filmmakers that make the switch a no-brainer. Okay, but let's just talk about three main important factors why I switched from Final Cut Pro that I've been using for the last 10 years to DaVinci Resolve 18. And you know there are two versions, the free version and the pro version. And let me be honest with you, at the beginning you don't even bother for the studio version that costs $300. Don't even bother, just download for free DaVinci Resolve and start learning and start using it. Yes, I have to agree with you that learning a new editing software, it's not easy and especially DaVinci Resolve 18, I have to own you it's it's quite tricky it takes a long time to switch from a different software to a new one but it's absolutely worth it and you'll be absolutely impressed with the new um, um with the new software with davinci resolve but only if you take at least one month in my experience to learn they have great tutorials on the where their website blackmagicdesign.com where you can um uh, you can watch um what uh, this uh, professional uh, like teachers uh, uh, people who are authorized to to teach uh, you know uh, black magic and davinci resolve and they actually uh, teach you like step by step how to use uh, davinci resolve and I've probably watched those videos for like, I don't know, like 10, 20 times. And they are long videos, like at least one hour and a half, one video. But I'm absolutely happy with that. Okay, let's not talk too much and just go straight to number one reason why you might want to make the switch to DaVinci Resolve 18. And it's obviously the color correction. Obviously DaVinci Resolve is renowned for its color correction uh, tools which is yes yes Hollywood professionals are using uh, Final Cut Pro to grade uh, Hollywood movies. Yeah it's been around for a long time and this is what they used and now you can use at home uh, DaVinci Resolve to um, yeah, grade your uh, project or your YouTube video. It's it's true and the tools they have are absolutely incredible um the second is the complete package what i'm trying to say is that when you open davinci resolve you don't need to open adobe audition you don't need to go and uh, open the the you know adobe effects or or file cut motion or anything else everything is in one place and it's absolutely incredible how cool and how easy it works all together from one uh, side of the editing uh, page you go to the fairlight to the to the audio side and then you go to special effects in one place and it's it just makes it so easy and so fast to to work on your project and it's actually you know the excitement of the new software and so many different things and and they actually work honestly they work really really well and the third is the price being an independent filmmaker is very important to keep the price low to you know learn a lot of things and then you know to move on and then to evolve when you have money to invest in much more expensive uh, software and davinci resolve 18 offers amazing tools for every filmmaker for free 
Yes, there is the, the studio version that offers you the noise reduction, offers you uh, a bit more um, uh, tools, uh, and uh, probably, you know, you can't in DaVinci Resolve um, the free version, you can't really uh, have timelines with more than 60 frames per second. Um, only the DaVinci Resolve Studio offers you like 120 frames per second timeline. But, I mean, let's be honest, how many times you've exported a video in like more than 60 frames per second. Like for YouTube, you'll do 30 max. So look, I'm I'm actually excited about this new software and I've started to use it because I was working on a uh, project uh, of mine. And let me just show you on my computer now. Um, so this is a DaVinci Resolve uh, 18. This is how it looks like. So you've got the media page here. You introduced all your media here. And as I said, there are um, uh, a few videos on uh, all um, the different ways how to use DaVinci Resolve 18. Uh, so there's a guy talking about uh, media page and editing page and cut page, what he does. And then there's a lady actually who talks about color page and color management and, and all that. And he's, I, I, have to, I have to be honest with you, like at the beginning, it sounds like daunting and it's like, it's a bit you might feel like, oh, this software is, is not for me. I mean, it's just it's just a bit a little bit too much. But actually, it's it's not true. When you start taking your time and you start learning, you know, the excitement makes you to to learn and understand. And I feel like if I if it wasn't for for this project that um, I did for a client of mine, and I had to shoot this 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 commercial. Um, then I don't really think I would have uh, gotten to to know DaVinci Resolve 18. I was always impressed with the colors, with, uh, you know, the capabilities. And, you know, you go to um, like Fusion and you've got all the special effects here. You go to color, you've got all the, uh, the, the, the color page and all these effects and all this, uh, you know, there's so many different things and I'll I'll try to do more and more tutorials about DaVinci Resolve because I love this program and if I'll somehow help you make the switch and be more productive and and be more creative then then that's great uh, and you've got the Fairlight you've got the, so, the, the, the audio and um, it's actually so so easy you go here and you add all these effects which are already built in uh, the Fairlight and then you've got the deliver page which is fantastic like you can you can you can deliver in so many formats like h264 h265 h264 um, and 5 master prores and you can actually you can actually upload straight to to youtube uh, sorry for sounding too excited but there's so much information um here and it's actually an absolute i think it's a bargain when you get this software for free Honestly, it's 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 amazing. And like, if I go now to Final Cut Pro and I open Final Cut Pro, which I which I love, Final Cut Pro is the first editing um, software that I've learned. You can see like like compare compare the both. The Final Cut Pro is so easy to use. And I'm not trying to say that you you should you know not use Final Cut Pro. Oh, of course not. You know you can use both but the main difference between like using Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve is um, how fast it is obviously when I need to edit like something super fast for YouTube obviously the Final Cut Pro is the best editing software because it's fast you know you already know the program you're gonna edit or put together a video and add some effects and texts and your logo very very easy very fast you know DaVinci Resolve requires a lot of time. DaVinci Resolve is a more professional, like more orientated for filmmakers. But if you want to grow and be an artist, then you have to use, you know, that software, which was actually created to, you know, make and create beautiful art. Uh, I'm not saying that Final Cut Pro is not for that, but Final Cut Pro never 
got to, to that level of, you know, like the color correction or the sound effects or, you know, the special effects. Yeah, you can use that motion, but, but I think still that DaVinci Resolve is much more advanced than, than Final Cut Pro. So yeah, if you want to create amazing grades, then, you know, DaVinci Resolve is the new kid on the block. I mean, it's been around for a long time, so it's not actually a kid, but it's... <laughs> I'm super excited and, you know, my honest opinion, try DaVinci Resolve, but take it slowly, take it easy. It's it's quite complicated, I'm still learning a lot of things and, you know, if you want to join me in learning, I'll share with you more tips, I'll share with you more tutorials in the future about DaVinci Resolve uh, 18 and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, if you like what I do on this channel, then, you know, consider subscribing. And I'm always happy to hear from you. Leave a comment below, you know, say hi. And, uh, you know, I might reply to you and say hi as well. And, you know, um, create beautiful art together. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a pleasure and it's a blessing to have you all here on my channel. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.